Hey guys, Tarek with Cyclone FPV. Just getting some things situated here. So today what I'm gonna be doing is, well first I'm gonna clean my glasses, and then we're gonna be building the Apis, uh, the FreeSky Apis uh, uh, MQ60 uh, uh, whoop or tiny quad, whatever you wanna call it, indoor quad. Um, and so let me give you the little background on this real quickly. Better. Okay, so the background is simple. Um, I contacted uh, FreeSky and said, hey look guys, uh, we are doing some project with schools. And one of the requirements for some of these races that are coming up at the school is that they have to build and program their own quads. Problem is they simply don't have enough time uh, to learn how to do the soldering on a small, because the, the limit is, uh, it's gotta be a two and a half inch maximum prop. It's gotta be under 150 gram total weight. Uh, can only have a 2S battery. So long story short is we know the stacks in them are gonna be, uh, uh, you know, small pads are small and they need to solder. And these kids just weren't ready for that. So I said, look, I like this, uh, the MQ, uh, the Apis MQ60, which looks like this right here, right? It's pretty awesome. Uh, and it flies real well and it flies on a 1S. with something real tiny like this right here. Okay. Uh, but <clears throat> the key, uh, the key is that, that they have to build them themselves. They have to assemble it. Now it could be plug and play. You just plug all the wires in, it doesn't have to be soldering, but it has to be put together by them and it has to be programmed by them in beta flight or whatever uh, program software they're going to be using. So it cannot come running the way it is, right? So the guys at FreeSky were awesome, man. They hooked me up. Let me see if I can get this angle here turned real quick. Let's do that. All right. I think that does it. Yep. Okay, perfect. So we've got the table. Sorry, you guys can't see. This thing's bouncing around. It was all over the place. So you'd be straight. I keep turning this. I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. All right, but anyways, let's get to it, right? So this video is going to be a quick one on how to build it, right? And now there is a catch to this. There is a problem with these uh, that we discovered today, actually. And we contacted FreeSky about it. And they're looking into it. Basically, they changed the camera. Okay, so let me show you what it used to come with. Uh, uh, so this was the original version and it had this, the big lens and this camera, and now this is the new version, right? So they've gone to a different manufacturer. Oh, you guys can't see it. Sorry, I'm holding it up to the screen. Let me hold it up here. So this is the new version here with the smaller uh, lens, and this is the old version. As you can see, the quad itself is exactly the same, but the camera is different, okay? So fitting the camera on this is much more difficult. Uh, it takes a little bit more work, and there's a catch. They actually have the lens turned 90 degrees clockwise, which is a screw up. I mean, it's a mistake. They got to fix it. But in the meantime, until it's fixed, I'm going to show you the workaround right now. So you guys can at least build yours, program them, and do whatever else. The next video will be on binding it to your radio, okay? Because I want to show you guys, those of you that got the X9 lights that did not do the um, updates yet to have uh, everything loaded on them properly, I'm going to show you how to do that next video, okay? So first thing is, let's see how we're going to build this. So let's remove everything. Instructions for the quad itself are here. Here's your flight controller. And here is everything else, okay? So we're just gonna take all these plastic pieces and put it back. Um, okay, so you've got your charger and your battery here. We're gonna put those away for now. In this bag is your props, your screws, and everything else. Here's your camera, there's your motors, another plastic piece that we don't need. Put that away. Here's the frame, here's the canopy, okay? And here's the flight controller. First thing to remember, the flight controller, everything, these white pegs in this letter A, these, this is the back, and this all goes down. If you want to look at your frame, let me show you how you can tell back from front on here. So you have, you have almost identical sides, right? But there's a significant difference between the back and the front of this quad. The front of the quad has this huge opening right here, whereas the back does not, okay? So the front is up here with this big opening, as you can see, and then the back is uh, back here and then the sides, okay? So this board is going to sit like that, all right? But we have to put our, our uh, hardware together first. So let me go ahead and open this up and show you what we got. So we've got a bunch of screws here, little itty bitty screws so that people with fat fingers like me have a hard time. That's okay. We're gonna, we're gonna make it through this. All right. Okay, let me get all this out. And be careful because there are some clear, uh, they look like almost rubber bands for braces. Uh, but what they are actually intended to do, and there's four of them, and you can, like me, sorry, I had a carbon fiber splinter between my nail and my finger today, like right in the thing. And I don't even think I got it out, but I sure as heck made it look like Beirut was going on in my shop today. It was, it was bloody everywhere. It was t very painful. So now I got this band-aid on, so all my movements are kind of goofy. But anyways, all right, so you got these little, they, these, they, they look like um, dentist rubber bands, right? Or brace rubber bands. But what these do is they actually go over uh, this area of the frame and they hold the wire in place. You'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit, but be careful because they're kind of hard to spot. So if you don't see it, you may throw it away and leave it in the bag. So let's set those aside. Let's get a regular tweezer, by the way, wherever the heck there it is. So let's set these aside right here so we know we can find them. All right. And they're flying all over the place. All right. Then you get four rubber um, uh, mount. Uh, sorry, let me put this here. There we go. All right. So you get four rubber mounts here. Um, and then we get our 
four props, and then we end up with our motors here, four motors, and then we have our screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one here is different than the rest. It's got a wider flat area. That actually is gonna go into the front. The rest of these are gonna go two to hold the camera, plate down, which is what this is, three of them to hold the canopy down, right? So the first things first, we need to put our, our um, uh, soft mounts into the flight controller. So what I recommend you do is take them, fold them in half, like pinch them in half, and get one corner of that in through the flight controller, and then just kind of press it through there. And if you get to where you can't, uh, there you see, like if you just work it there a little bit, it'll pop right through, okay? So the next one, I'm gonna cut from the, uh, from the top here through the bottom now because these pieces are in the way and I can't fit my fingers in there. So let me just fold this in half, pinch it in half, there like that, and then just kind of push that piece through. And like I said, if you get to a point where it's just not going, you're kind of stuck and you got half of it in, but you can't get the other half, get a blunt object like these tweezers, for example, something that it's not gonna easily poke a hole through this and just kind of work it through and then there you go, now it's it, okay? But if you go with something sharp like a screwdriver, you're gonna poke right through this rubber uh, soft mount here and then you're gonna end up probably break it in half. So be very careful with that, okay? Uh, all right, so I'm gonna see, well, I was gonna try to see if I could do it without using the tweezers on this one, but it's another tight fit, but let's just see if I can do it. All right, so I'm kind of at this point now, so I'm just gonna kind of push these little pieces in slowly and see if I can get this to fit through. And there we go. All right, so we got one more left. It's gonna be the rear one right here. Go again, bend this uh, in half. And then, there we go. Let's get that piece in there. And once it's in, there we go. All right, so all four pieces are in. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our frame. Remember, the back is here, the front has this big opening. So we're gonna take this wire, this is our battery wire, and we're gonna put it through the back area right here in this space, okay? So if you can see that, it's gonna go right here. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see. It's gonna go right in through this space right here, okay? And then with the A, the letter aiming down, we're gonna mount the flight controller onto it by putting the, uh, the standoffs here through these rubber soft mounts, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this wire through and then just lay the flight controller on here, just like this. And let those standoffs there go into that soft mount, okay? There we go, and we got one more. Just like that. All right, now that everything's in, there's only one screw that you're gonna put in right now before you put the canopy on, okay? And that is gonna be that one screw with the, with the wider top area. And if you don't have a magnetic screwdriver, you may need one. Um, I fought with this thing. Uh, these little screws are real pain in the butt, so I finally settled. To and as I say that, I screwed up again, hold on. Uh, I finally settled to get a, <laughs> use one of my magnetic screwdrivers, although right now it doesn't seem to be helping me at all anyway. So let me just work on this here a second. Oh, finally, there we go. Okay, so now we got that in there, right? Perfect. So tighten that down, doesn't have to be crazy tight or anything, we just tighten it down. All right, now we're gonna to get to the difficult part, kind of the difficult part, and that's gonna be this antenna. All right, I mean, sorry, this camera. So as I said before, the camera's actually on. Let me just show you what I'm talking about, okay? So let me grab this screen, it's actually on right now. I'm gonna set it here, and I'm gonna just quickly, you can see the screen here, right? So I'm just gonna quickly plug in a battery and show you uh, what I mean when I say the camera is turned. So let me plug this in. All right, just like, come on. Hold on, let me make sure I got these lined up right. I think I do. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna plug the camera in. And then I want you to see exactly what I'm talking about when I say the lens is turned 90 degrees. Okay, so here is our camera. And this would be our camera straight up. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but that puts my bench at an angle. You see, the bench should be like this, right? That's, that's me, there's my hand. Hello, okay. But it sits like this. So we have to turn this lens. So what we have to do now, and let me shrink this back out, 
is we've got to, and I can disconnect this now, take this TV and put it back. But I'll keep it here just because I know we're going to be using it again to show you when we fix it. So what we've got to do now is we've got to take this camera lens. We, get to, we don't have to have it plugged in when we do this. And we've got to literally, with the antenna, now this is the top because here's the antenna right here. We've got to literally unglue this and turn it 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, so let me show you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a heat gun and I'm going to just heat up the hot glue that's under here. And just be careful, but I mean, it's not, you're not going to kill anything, but it's got a, they, they put plenty of hot glue under this thing, all right? All right, let's see if that's enough. Okay, so we're going to peel it. Okay, it seems like it's enough, all right? Okay, so here's the top. We're going to peel it, and then we're going to turn it 90 degrees. And once we turn it, we're going to set it right back. And wires are going to go between it, and we're just going to hold it in place because that glue is going to cool eventually, and then everything's going to kind of hold back in place again. All right, now, if you have a hot glue gun, you can go ahead and just, I'm going to, just put a few little pieces of hot glue. Uh, you don't have to, though. I just do it just because. Just put a little bit of hot glue here and here and there. And you've solved your problem of the camera having the wrong angle. Ooh, that's hot. Hold on. Jeez, it's all sticking to my fingers. Okay, so now with that done, right? Now, I assume Freeze Guy's going to fix this, but until they do, this would be the fix that you'd have to do. All right? Um, so now that that's done, we can mount the camera. So to mount the camera, you're basically going to line up and make sure that you get... There's two things you need to pay attention to. The first one is you have this button, right? Right here, okay? And that button needs to go on the side where this cutout is right here. Because as you push that cutout, that's where it's pressing the button, okay? And then the other thing is you've got your antenna wire, which must go through this hole right here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed that antenna wire through the hole, and then we're gonna line the camera up where we think it should go. Make sure that the button and it does, sits with the, uh, the piece right there. And then from there, now, if you have hot glue, uh, I would hot glue it at this point just to hold it in place for a moment, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. Is I'm just gonna drop a little bit of hot glue there on the top between the antenna and the top plate, all right? You'll see it start coming out there. Just want it to kind of hold, just get a, a, a pretty good grip and just a little bit for the camera. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this plate on. This camera plate's going to actually press it and hold it in place. But it can be a little tricky, so I think like the hot glue is a good idea if you can, just to give the camera some stability while you try to screw it in place, okay? So now that the camera's somewhat in there, I'm going to go ahead and with your camera plate, you're going to notice that one side's rather smooth and the other side has this middle ridge. The middle ridge is what's going to press down and go into the camera. So you're going to put that down towards the camera and leave the the smooth side up like this, and then just screw this plate in and try to make sure that you get as, a, as best of a hold on the camera as you can. Okay, but don't tighten this too tight because you can actually screw right through the plastic, okay? So just kind of, you know, finger tight it. Uh, it's, it's not a bad deal um, to, you don't have to worry about cranking it down because the camera is gonna stay. Uh, but if you go too much, you're gonna break some of this plastic. So let me just put this next one in. Make sure everything's lined up still. And once it's lined up, you can go ahead and just tighten it down. All right, so let me go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay. So now our camera's in. Our button works. Our antenna's in place. Okay, everything looks good. You can, you can hear it. That's the button being pressed, so we know the button's good. So now, all we need to do is put our canopy on. So we're going to take this wire, and we're going to plug it in with the red wire facing the left, like just like this, okay? Left and right, so it's left with the red, right with the black. And then we're going to go ahead and put the frame together and grab the remaining three screws here. And you want to line the frame up, right, with the holes here going into the... Uh, into these pieces here, right here, where the um, soft mounts were. So right above that, you're just gonna put that screw right in there. 
and that's going to screw it into the frame. Okay, so let me do that one. All right, so that's on there. Kind of be a little finicky at times, but it's all right. All right, we're gonna do the next one now. And that'll be the other side right here. Okay, there's one, there's two. And the last one now that we're going to do is this one. Okay. Now we're, do we're done with that. Now what we need to do is we need to get our motors in place, right? So we have these motors here and we have the black and white uh, wire and we have the red and blue. So red and blue is clockwise. Usually clockwise goes on motors one and motor four and counterclockwise goes on three and two. However, for this configuration, we're actually gonna run the props in reverse. So clockwise is not gonna go in one and, and four, but it's actually gonna go in two and three. So put your red and blue in the top right and the bottom left, okay, just like this. Make sure to feed that wire through that slot. All right, so we can go ahead and put that down just like that. All right, and then we're going to take the black and white ones and we're going to go in motors one and four. There's that. Okay. Oh, hold on. I got one more to go and it's giving me a problem. Actually, it's just me. There we go. All right, now, I told you these little white uh, dental looking rubber bands. Okay, so those are to hold the motor wire in place, right? Because you have all this wire here, right? Well, we want to hold it in place so it doesn't just drag everywhere. So we put this little rubber band over it and we push this down and it'll keep the wire uh, pressed up against, uh, just like this. Let me show you. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt when you got a band-aid on, hold on. All right, there you go, just like that, okay? So that way it keeps the wire pressed up against the frame itself, it doesn't snag anything. Let's see if I can get my sausage fingers here to do this one, hold on. Holy cow, what a pain. Come on, there we go, okay. And we got one more. Once that done, once this is done, all we're gonna do is plug the motors in and we are ready to uh, fire this up and get it programmed, okay? So get your battery wire kind of set aside. All right, now it's time to just plug the motors in, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and go around the, the quad here on the bottom. I'll start with this one. Just gonna pop it right in there in that plug. I say that, but I've got to get the wires set it up first. There we go. So like that instead. If I put it the right way, it might help. Okay, so there's one. All right. And there is two. And I'm just saying motor, like it's the third motor, not necessarily it's motor three. So please don't write me and say, oh, that was motor that was motor three, not motor two. Okay, what's the second motor? Here's the third motor. And then we got our last motor here. Okay, we go ahead and plug that in. Awesome. So there you go. And look at that. Our drone is done. I mean, everything is finished at this point. So we can put the props back on, okay, if we want to. Um, I'm going to leave them off for now because I'm getting ready to program some beta flight. But, uh, and then to test the video, let's just go ahead and grab the battery again.
and I'll bring the screen over. And let's see what we got. You see? Now all of a sudden everything's standing up straight. Okay, so if you can see that, uh, let's leave it like that, you see? There's my beta flight computer right there. Okay, so good. So the angle helped, so everything's good there. The camera adjustment is good. And now what we're gonna do is unplug the battery. And okay, so that pretty much, uh, let, me, let me change this. So that wraps it up for the build part, right? It's a very simple build, very easy. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the programming side. Um, a couple of things though to let you know. I know I had a question about binding this. So here's what you're gonna do. You have a bind button on the bottom here. And I will go through this with the transmitter here in one of the next videos. But here's your bind, oh, you can't see that. So let me just do it like this. Uh, here's your bind button right here. Okay, it's right in front of the USB port. You will hold that down while you power up the quad. Once you power it up, then you can go to your transmitter and go to bind. Now I'm gonna do that all for you. I'm gonna show you in the video how to do it. I'm just turning off a few things here right now. Okay, so uh, all right guys, if you have any questions, hit me up at targetcyclonefpv.com. By all means, please uh, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Perfect, yes, please. It would mean a lot to me, thank you, and it helps uh, get the word out. Also, um, for those of you uh, that are spending a little too much time in the hobby, please go spend time with your family, guys. Um, you never know how much time you got left. And so try to make the most of it, all right? Uh, other than that, God bless, safe flying, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Peace out.